Firas says, Shaykh, you said in an earlier time that one must finish reciting Al-Fatiha quickly, even when Imam does Ruku'ah, because without finishing Al-Fatiha, prayer is invalid. What if the Imam goes to Ruku'ah as soon as I say Takbiratul Ihram, or even seconds after reciting Al-Fatiha? What should I do since there would be no time to finish the surah? Basically, Firas' question was about reciting the Fatiha behind the Imam. If the rak'ah is loud, which means that the Imam has read the Fatiha loudly, we have no problem with that. Whether you come in the beginning, whether you come in the middle or the end of that particular rak'ah, the most authentic opinion is the opinion of the Maliki school of thought, which states that as long as the Imam had recited it loudly, this suffices for the followers not to, to recite it. If you want to recite it, alhamdulillah. But if you don't, your prayer is valid. Our issue is with the silent rak'ah. If I join the Imam in this rak'ah from the beginning, and he made ruku' before I finished my rak'ah, this means there is one of two. Either he is too fast or I'm too slow. If he's too fast, this means that the whole congregation will complain and say, Akhi, I could not read my Fatiha. The Imam was too fast. In this case, you guys have to go and speak to the Imam. And if needed, you have to change the Imam because his prayer is invalid. He cannot recite it this quick while the whole of the congregation are suffering. But this can't affect your prayer. Meaning if he goes to Rukur, you recite your Fatiha as quick as possible. Even if he raises his head from Rukur, you go and make Rukur afterwards and catch up with him because there's no fault on you. But if you were too slow, then, then we have a problem. And if you're too slow, this Rak'ah, which the Imam made Rukur and raised his head from Rukur before you catch up with him, is invalid and this is your problem you have to work on reciting it quickly now this is in the scenario where you and the imam began reciting the fatiha together there is a second scenario which is if you joined in this raka late so i came into the masjid the imam was in the third raka which is a silent raka by the time i was in the row and I said, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. The Imam said, Allahu Akbar, and went for Rukur. Now, I have one of two choices. Either if I'm quick in it, and I can finish my Fatiha in a couple of seconds or three seconds, knowing totally that I will be able to be in the position of Rukur with the Imam, so be it. So... Once he goes for ruku, I say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Rahman, Rahim, Maliki, Yawm, Dini, Yakar, Maliki, Yakar, Sayyidina, Hina, Salatul, Mustaqim, Salatul, Adina, Amta, Alim, Ghayr, Mardu, Ghayr, Mardu, Ghayr, Mardu, Ghayr, Mardu, Ghayr, How long did it take? Two, three, four seconds. And the Imam is still saying, Subhana, Rabbi Al-Azim. If a lot of people say, Whoa, this is too fast. I can't recite it this quick. And the Imam will raise his head. In this case, you're exempted. Just say, Allahu Akbar, and make ruku. Shaykh, I didn't finish Fatiha. No problem. Because the time was limited, it's not your mistake. You came in late. And likewise, and this is even by default, if you came while the Imam is in Rukur, so the thing you do is, Allahu Akbar, Takbiratul Ihram, Allahu Akbar, you go for Rukur. No Fatiha, no Dua ul Istiftah, no A'udhu Al-Nashtarajim, nothing. You just go for Rukur. So I hope this clarifies it. One, if you join the Imam from the, the beginning of the silent rak'ah, either he's too fast or you too slow. Two, if you join the Imam late, so there is not enough time for you to recite the Fatiha because you joined in late or the Imam is already in Rukur. And I hope this clarifies it uh, uh, a bit.